Hello friends. Now we will see how to draw a nulloot of a circle. A nulloot. When some string is wrapped around the circumference of a circle, and if we keep one end of the string fixed on the circle, and if we open the other end by keeping the string always tight, then path traced by that end is nothing but involute curve. So for drawing the involute curve, what it is required? Only one thing is required and that is what the diameter of a circle or radius of a circle. Let us consider radius of a circle is uh, 25 mm or diameter 50 mm. And with that, we will draw the involute. So how to draw it? First, always I will suggest draw the two and whenever you are going to draw a circle, draw on lower side. We need some more space on upper side. That's why I am drawing this cross uh, horizontal line and vertical line on lower side. The intersection of these two, it is going to be a center of a circle. And with that center and 25 mm radius, so we have to take 25 mm radius and with 25 mm radius draw the circle. The circle will be with 25 mm radius. This is the circle with 25 mm radius. And divide this circle into 8 equal parts. Making the 8 equal divisions of the circle is very simple. Draw additional, already it has been divided into 4 equal parts. Now if I mark 2 additional lines with 45 degree angle line then easily it will be divided into 8 equal parts 45 degree line mark like this and again one more 45 degree incline line like this now it has been divided it into 8 equal parts. Then from the lower most point, from the lower most point, draw the tangent. Draw the tangent. It will be like this. Draw the tangent. And on that tangent, mark the distance equal to 157 mm. 157 mm it is nothing but if diameter is 50 mm, circumference of a circle is pi d. And pi d is nothing but pi into 50. And pi is 3.14. So we will get 157 mm. And this 157 mm distance we have to mark on lower most tangent at the circle. So that 157 distance, it will be somewhere over here. And <coughs> so, uh, we can mark the vertical line through that point. which is marked 157 mm. This is the line with 
So this distance draw the field arrow on both sides. and give this dimension 157 157 mm and this circle is divided it into eight equal parts so we can number starting from this point and for involute it is better to number inside 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and 8. Similarly, this pi d distance, 157 mm distance also, we have to divide it into 8 equal parts. So, for that, a very simple procedure is there. Mark some inclined line at an angle of less than 30. So, you can take any angle, but just I am suggesting the angle equal to such line, inclined line, having angle less than 30 and mostly it should be around 15 to 30. Then on that, with the help of compass, randomly divide that inclined line into 8 equal parts, with 8 equal known parts. So those will be like this. So if I consider this much distance, so this is 1, then shift the center at this first point, then cut the arc like this, then shift the center on that, then cut the arc in this way, three points, then it is four point. So this you can do with the help of compass, five, six, seven, and eight. So once again you can check 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So it is going to be 8 equal divisions and similarly we have to divide this line into 8 equal parts. So for that, so what you have to do? Join this. 8th point and this end point of the this 8th point and end point of this eight point and end, end point of pi d distance then through all these 8 points draw the parallel line to this 1 2 3 4 5 so these lines should be parallel to each other. Six, seven, eight. This is the proper procedure of division of the lines into eight equal parts. So starting with this, it is going to be one, it's two, it is three, it is 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Generally for cycloid and involute, up to this it is common. Drawing the circle and dividing it into 8 equal parts and drawing pi d distance and dividing it into 8 equal parts. Then after that, the procedure is different. Then what we have to do? through all these eight points, we have to mark the eight tangents. So already we have marked the tangent at A, means at lowermost point. Then we have to mark 
the tangent at seven and see that this tangent should not intersect each other. So at seven this tangent and earlier tangent they should not intersect then again next tangent will be at 6 so mark the tangent now the next tangent will be at 6 it will be like this then tangent at 5 but this tangent they should not intersect each other means we have to take this care like this then the tangent at 4 tangent at 4 means it is going to be a horizontal line like this then tangent at 3 or before that through 2 also I will draw a tangent And now uh, remaining tangent are one is at three, and last tangent will be at one. And see while drawing all this tangent what care I have taken that these are not intersecting each other. These are the tangent now we must have circle with 8 division pi d distance with uh, 8 divisions and tangent at all these 8 points then how to mark the points on the involute curve so for that initially that point is at p initially point is at uh, P so that point is going to be something like this this is the beginning so it is P then for getting the more points we have to make use of the compass how will be using the compass so well in the beginning that center is at this place and if I take its radius 25 mm so the point will be at P. So this is the distance equal to radius and the point is at P. Now when center will be at 1, so our, uh, then in the next shift the center at 1, you take P to one distance P to one distance in the compass from the tangent line shift the compass at one and cut the arc on 
the tangent passing through 1 so means here so the now point will shift from p to p1 so like this then put the compass at p itself and take the distance from 2 to p in the compass put the compass at point 2 then cut the arc on the same tangent this point is p2 then next increase the distance in the compass and that distance is going to be p3 p23 p23 put the compass at point 3 rotate it and cut the arc on the tangent at 3 itself we'll get p3 point then for getting p4 so you can put the compass at 4 or p point then in the compass we have to take p4 distance and put the compass at point 4 cut the arc on tangent through the same point then you have to shift this again compass at p in the compass you have to take p to 5 distance p to 5 distance in the compass put the compass at 5 on the circle and cut the arc on the tangent at 5 so this is the arc then shift the compass again at p in the compass take more distance p to 6 p to 6 then keep the compass at 6 on the circle on the circumference and cut the arc on a tangent passing through 6 itself then keep again the compass at point P and in the compass you have to take P to 7 distance P to 7 distance and shift the compass at point 7 and rotate it and cut the arc on this line tangent passing through 7 and finally the 8 point in the compass if you take p to 8 distance p to 8 distance and if we put the compass at 8 it will cut the same point so like this we will be getting the 8 points we will get the 8 points So I will take this intersecting point like this we will get the point on the involute. How to mark? How to mark these points? initial point is P then P1 P2 P3 P4 P5 P6 P7 and P8 so these are the eight points on the involute curve and we have to join all these points with the smooth curve then how to join that i'll show points on all the tangents 
so we'll first draw the curve smooth curve passing through all these eight points and while drawing the curve the point should be in your eyesight and you should not look towards the pencil or the pen so let us start with smooth curve So it is P, P1, P2, P3, P4 and now P4, P5, P6, P7, P8. So this is the involute passing through these 8 points. Give the naming. Initial point is P. The second point is Second point is P1. Then P2, P3, P4, it's P5, P6, P7. P8. Now naming is there. Pi d distance we have marked. Then another important thing is, so we have to mark the dimension. This circle is having this inclined at 45 degree. And make it horizontal. And here neatly write or use show this arrows like this means it is going to be a diameter and I'm showing this dimension over here like this pi Means in the involute curve, your curve should be dark only. All rest of the things should be very light and neatly written. So it is involute. 